Well, the mechanic here. Today we have two Kickstarters on our workbench. Uh, two different styles. One has an aluminum lever arm and one is all, all steel, but they both share the same problem. Uh, they're a little worn out and uh, our job today is to repair them. And what they are doing or what they are not doing is staying put. So they will flop out like this, just on their own. Uh, they're real loose, both of these are, you know. So when they're on the motorcycle, kind of like this, they'll get out in the a little deploy, we'll say, when we're riding, and we don't want that. So let's take a look at this one first. So what we're gonna do is take it apart, and I've already done this, but I have it configured in the original configuration. What I mean by that is there's a spring and a ball bearing in there and uh, and we'll take that apart and I'll show you what has happened. So let's go ahead and remove this cotter pin here. Take this pin out and you can see on this part here there's a detent hole and then a groove that eh, it's kind of worn in. Uh, but that detent hole is a lot bigger than the little detent ball is right here. You can see that. And this ball is old and totally misshapen. And just for reference, if I measure that, it's about 165 thousandths in diameter just on the part I measured. So it's kind of weird shaped. So what we're going to do is replace it with another bearing, but this one's bigger. And this one is, of course, it's upside down in the camera probably, but uh, what is that, uh, 186 thousandths? So it's a little bit bigger, and this one is round, it's not all worn out. But I got this ball bearing out of a bearing I took apart. I don't know if you can see this cover here, but this is a 6001 ZZ bearing that it took. It was worn out, it was a little bit loose. The balls inside are still round, but it, it wasn't working as a bearing. So I pulled the, uh, the dust shields off, uh, the bearing retainer I pulled out, and then I got all of the bearings that were inside it. Um, but I only needed one. So what we're going to do is replace this ball. And let me just show you what's in here is a really small but stout spring. And that spring over time is probably a little bit compressed. So what we could do if the ball bearing was okay, we might be able to stretch that out. Um, but it takes quite a bit of force to, to compress that. So what we're going to do is first let's get our grease and we'll lubricate this up and assemble it. All right, I got my grease here. What I'm using today is this stuff, Mystic, high temp, multi-purpose. Anyway, it's red, red grease. So I'm going to get a little bit on my welding rod and lubricate that. There's lubricate in here, just kind of all over. And then we will put the spring in the hole and the bearing on top of that. And we're going to put a little, little grease on that bearing. And that grease will hold the bearing in place. And let's put that down and we'll lubricate this side here. All right, now make sure we got the right side up here. So that detent hole needs to go where the detent ball is. And this pin needs to come down just like so. And there we go. Let's put this pin back in. And bend it out.
I got the cotter pin back in and now we have a nice solid detent. Comes back, that's not going anywhere. Nice crisp detent right there. So all we did with, that we had to do is just replace with a bigger ball. Okay, that was this one. Now, going to this guy here, this style, a little bit different disassembly. You pop this screw out and take this apart carefully because there is, again, a detent ball and a spring in here. And we're going to repair this a little bit different, a little bit differently here. So this ball, that looks okay. It's nice and round, it's not deformed, and it's a little bit bigger than the one that we're using use it on this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to shim the spring. And I'm using two of these washers. And these washers are a quarter inch or so on the outside diameter. Um, I'm using two just for the thickness. And just for giggles they are oh, 35 thou thick. But I picked these because of their thickness but their diameter because they have to fit Whatever you grab, they have to fit inside that hole there. They have to go underneath the spring. So what we'll do is we'll drop these down in there. We'll have to make sure they sit flat in the hole. Just like so. And we'll put this spring in. Put some grease there. We'll put some grease around it. And this is a good time to check your O-ring here. There is a little O-ring. This one looks fine, um, but if you wanted to replace it, now would be the time. And then we'll put the bearing on there, put a little bit more grease. So basically all we're doing is, is shimming that spring up so it puts more tension on that detent ball. i tell you what, while we have this open, let's go ahead and put some grease in here. Just a little bit is all we need. All right, now I found it easier to kind of rotate this as you assemble it. There it goes. So I can feel it already. It's a lot better of a detent having those shims in there. Look at that. Look at that snap. Boom. Boom. Much better. And this was a super easy fix. Super simple for both, both these Kickstarters. So if your Kickstarters aren't detenting back, they're not staying put, this would be a good uh, little tip. You know, the one of them, just put a little bit bigger ball in there. There's the new and the old. And then on this one, we just shimmed the spring. And they're good as new. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.